this is my gear. All right, this is my motorcycle gear. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with the jacket. This is the Viking Ironborn jacket. Uh, it's really uh, famous from Amazon. People are buying these because it's a, it's a mess jacket. And it, it also has a liner. If it is cold, you know, it zips up inside. So yeah, so the liner comes with it. It has all the zip pockets. Um, this is my mask. Uh, zip packets, um, you can cinch it if you need more um, a slim fit. And this jacket has CE, CE armor. One here. Wow. And the elbows and the back protector. I'm gonna um, review one of these one day on a separate video. And my gloves are, are um, basically jackets for bikes. This is, uh, pr by the way, this jacket costs like $56 wow. on Amazon. It's really cheap and it's good quality, all right? It's, um, you want to buy, you know, uh, budget, you know, budget gear, but the quality is good. So, um, man, it's getting windy here. Um, okay, for the, for the gloves, it's basically, um, I bought these at eBay and one at Amazon that the brand is um <clears throat> excuse me jackets for bikes um, it's a uh, goat's goat's leather skin and it is double stitched this one too is double stitch this is, has a carbon fiber but i'm not it's a real carbon fiber but um goat skin made in pakistan so um it's a good quality uh I think it will last. It will last a good one. Uh, this one is probably like 25 bucks, and this one is probably the same price. But I lost. <laughs> I actually lost the last, um, the second part of it. I don't know where it is, but you know, it's probably my backup or something. And this one is uh, another glove, but it's for a different um, brand. It's a. Uh, watch glower or something i'll link everything i'll link everything in the description it's a it's a mesh it's a mesh uh, glove half finger I, I only use this when i'm driving in the city so since i can mess it with the phone and i don't I'm not, i don't use this in the highway at all and sometimes i use it in the highway but uh it has a really strong plastic and um what else? Uh, uh, it's breathable, um, double stitch. Um, that's protection. That's a strong Velcro. I like it. I like it. Uh, this thing, the, the price, I don't really remember, but I'll, I'll link it. It's probably uh, no, 20 bucks. And the socks I use is called the Darn top socks uh, socks uh, these are one fourth darn tart socks these are made of merino wool and the model is padded I like I like I like more um, padded and on the on the um, on the socks because it's more um, comfy on the shoes and this one is uh, has a lifetime warranty if it wow. um, get holes just contact the contact them and they'll send you a new one um, I have like five of these, one taller for, for boots and one for the shoe. So, and, and the cool thing about this, they don't stink. You know, when, you, when you're done riding, it gets a little bit wet and then just spray some, some uh, oils in it, like a, like a yeah, peppermint oil and then hang it. And next day, it doesn't stink. Wow. Okay, what was that? probably a hawk <laughs> okay uh yeah so um that's the jacket gloves the Krega, the Krega r20 you probably seen this um on my um what's in my bag review check that out uh this one costs about 160 to 180 i got this on ebay uh really good bag um 
um, I'm planning on buying the R32 because that's waterproof. He has a waterproof front liner and you can store more. This is a 20 liter bag. What is that? Some, something's fighting. All right, never mind. So basically, um, this one is, it's called the Shima XO. The Shima XO um, summer boots. Um, this costs about $130. This, this is the most expensive one that I have, okay? The reason why that I have these is because this is designed in Europe or Norway or something. And you can buy this on eBay on, on sizes, but sometimes they're out of sizes. Mine, I got, I got lucky enough to get this at, um, my, uh, my size is size 10 and I got this at size 10 and it um, uh, fits through to size. And this one has a hit free ventilation. Uh, hit, what is that? Okay, uh, hip system. And hit, the cool thing about this, uh, the first time when I got this shoe is, it looks like it, it's like narrow. So I was like, oh man, because my feet is uh, wide. So I was like, man, I don't think this thing's gonna fit. But when I, when I put my feet on, look at this. It, um, it expands, which is like, oh, cool. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a motorcycle. Um, boot, boot, uh, boot, anyway, uh, it's, um, what, what was that um, list? It's actually um, reinforced. This is a reinforced in the in the toe back um, toe box heel and um, on the side. No, not not the side, but here on the on your ankle. Okay. So, well, the cool thing about this um, Shima is that, okay, you do this, you flip it, and it, it has one of these dials. The dial, what do you call this? Uh, A-top dial closure system. And then, bam, wow. it, it fits. It fits like a glove, and I love it. And then if you wanna take it off, it's kinda hard when you take it off. Here you go. Take it off. It's already off. Take your shoe off. That's how that's how quick it is. Okay. It's a good shoe. I'm gonna review more of this one later, but uh, I wanna don't wanna make this video too long. So another um gear I have that's actually it's actually just so a riding pants, uh, a jogger that I like. This is the same one, but it's a different, um, different design, which I like. It, um, it looks like a, more of the shark um, polyester uh, joggers. Uh, the brand is Contour Hydra Fit, uh, size large. And when I use this on a city, I drive this, I use this on the city already when, when I'm driving cities and I use this under it, it's the, this um, Jello, I'm gonna link everything there by the way, it's called the Jello Pro, Jello Pro compression pants, um, um, it's very uh, thick, it's, it's very thick pad here on the, on the side of the hip and, uh, wow. and the knee. So, so, so it's basically a uh, compression pants. The reason why I got these, I got, first I got the Icon, um, the Icon Field Gear compression pants at Amazon, I mean on eBay. Those um, Kevlar ones, the compression ones. And for the first day I used them, there's a hole. 
there's a hole in there. I was like, what the heck? The first time, oh, no. like one day of ride, and there's a hole, so I returned that. So I was like, the quality's not good. So I got these and these to protect, minimal protect me on the city. But on the highway, this is what I got. It's just a regular jeans, but I bought an eBay, a Kevlar fabric, a 60, one yard, 60 inch Kevlar fi fabric. And I copied the rock jeans um, wow. layout. Here, see, this is the Kevlar. This is for the knee. This is for the side, the side. And, and at the back, at your rear end, here. And coupled with these, this is good enough for me, okay? The reason why I got these, because I bought the Rock, the Rock uh, RHOK on eBay, all right? I bought that with a CE armor and everything. And for 20 days, I rode it for only like six times in three weeks the seams the seams on the where you hold the the knee pads ripped oh, no. so i was like i paid a hundred dollars for the thing and then it just ripped because it's got thin polyester so i returned that and i also have the icon field gear um compression elbow um this is a large x large slash xl and um this is what i wear in the city too with a regular shirt because it's hot in here i don't want to wear a jacket uh this is all for uh, good protection it's got um kevlar dupont kevlar and this is the one that has a good quality mesh because the pants the, the version of these pants the field gear pants is so it's so thin that it ripped it, a hole in it that's why this is way better okay the way you um, install it is you, you just take it it's basically have this um, thing this uh, thumb thing so when you insert something on your thing it doesn't slide but I don't really need it need that so basically it's like this and and, and I tuck the one this uh, this loop one and it's it's basically my um, protection. You know, you gotta have protection done nothing, man. You know, this is a Kevlar. It will it will protect you here. See, there's a, a thick plastic Kevlar here, and make sure you have the right size. Measure your your um, uh, circumference on your arm so basically this is it I hope you can see that wow. okay it's mesh it doesn't get too hot and this one costs about 75 bucks 75 bucks at eBay but if it is sold out which is true it's always sold out but 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 some sellers will will have it but they will charge you a little bit extra like five dollars so it'll be eighty dollars that's why i did because when i tried to find an l large xl size there was nothing except there's this one seller that offers it for eighty dollars so i just like hey might as well spend it now then trying to wait because i want to ride right away so um what else i mean guys that's about it uh my um gear uh leave comment subscribe uh click that bell button i upload videos every every single week so take care of yourself god bless later